Right now we got the truck all taped up because they do have to remove the bed to do the C-notch because we are slamming this thing all the way down. So we can protect the bed, protect all the paint. The bed. What is going on guys, Static Leo here and I am back with another video. So as you guys seen, we are here with my boy Roman at the setup. It is time to chop the 2022 Sierra. What's the plan, Roman? Ahorita, well, that's what y'all was doing. I take the whole bed off. Uh, we had to tape everything off because it's a yeah. brand new truck. We don't want to well, stretch. My it. guys taped it off. Yo, tell it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, four inch lower control arms in the front. If you see the gap right there, compared to like the older ones, these have less gap. So four inches, man, it brings this truck down a lot. Y luego atrás va a ser flip kit, drop shocks, underbed. So yeah, we're gonna cut a 2022. Yup, we're gonna cut it right now. Brand new. No problem. Hey, uh, probably do like a 4.7, 4.8 yeah. somewhere around here just to get it tucking a little bit in the back. And then low pros and niddle no tires. steps. Yeah, and little tires on these stocks and uh, should look good. Yep. Should look dope, especially the color. Yes, sir. <laughs> Got it, got it. WD forty. So just like that, tailgate is off, bed is off. Here we are. About about two hundred. Two hundred? Yeah. yeah. 200 miles ready to chop it up yeah 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 The guys are in full effect right now. They started working on the truck. They took off the bed, the tailgate, because they do need some room to do that underbed notch. If we're going that low, we are gonna need it. That way we're not bouncing around everywhere. We gotta have the most comfortable ride as possible, of course. I'm not gonna record too much of this. You guys already know how that process goes. I'm just gonna wait until the truck is done. Right now I'm gonna run back home because I have to go edit the vlog, the last vlog. You guys probably seen it already by now. Take one last look at it right now, how it looks, because it's gonna look a lot different later on. Back up. Yeah. Here we have everything. Got the new kit. Got the whole front end taken apart already. This thing is gonna look beast. Right here picking up the Sierra with my boy Roman. Yes, sir. Man, they got down six hour turnaround. No bullshitting. So Thank you. Like 2022? Yep. I don't think I've seen another. Probably one. the first one on a 5.8, right? It is. It's probably a 3.5. This yeah. 5.8. Mm -hmm. uh, custom upper and lower control arms. Of course, you know, the setup had to tweak it up a yeah. little bit. Uh, we trimmed all the bottom, flip kits, shackles, underbed knots, drop shocks. Uh, relocated a little stuff here and there to get it that low. And look at it. Look at the option. That bitch is bad. Here it is. Check that it out. Color, bro, that color yeah, I love that color. <laughs> and then we got the tin on it as well. We got the tin done last night, so we already got the windshield tint, the sides, and then it looks clean with that sunroof. Yeah. Yeah. 
Y'all excuse the lights flickering, it's the camera. Don't think my truck's messed up. <laughs> like the, the camera every be camera tripping. Though, bro. Yeah. Every camera though, those LED lights, man, look like they're, they got strobe lights on the field. So next time this truck comes to the setup, it's gonna be for a three link and some yeah, billets. 28, 26, 28. I like the 28s. All around? All around. You think so? Go big or go home? Yeah, we can. Yeah. But I kill. Big shout out to my boy. Yes, sir. Shout out to the guys for getting yeah. down. Yeah, boys got down. So, no yeah. camber at all, and it's not even aligned yet. Yeah, we still gotta align it. So I thought first 22 on a slammed. On a <laughs> well, guys, here we are in the Drop Sierra. This thing rides amazing. We still do have to align it. That's why the steering wheel's a little crooked. And then the check engine light came on because they took everything off from the rear. So it should be fine by the morning. Tomorrow we are gonna go give it a real good wash at the shop because it really needs it. But man, this thing rides good. About to hit 300 miles and we're slammed. Big shout out to my boy Roman. Got down as always. Uh, this thing rides amazing. So yeah guys, I'm gonna pick up the vlog in the morning. We're gonna give it a good wash, go get some shots. Gonna be neat. Let's get it. Check out this lineup. Damn. Definitely a dream garage for me right here. Here we got the 22 Sierra with her new homies. Got the Coyote with the big welds. Yesterday I gave this thing a super good wash. Detailed it using our static products, of course. And they work very good. I am in love with this color. Truly in love. And there it is with this drop. Right now we're gonna pull it outside to the sun. That way you guys can get a better look at it. Do a little walk around. But we got this thing all cleaned up. Let me know what you guys think down below about the new truck, comment down below. There's a lot more upgrades coming to it. This is just the beginning. The build is barely getting started. This thing drives amazing, just like factory. Big shout out to my boy Roman for always getting down. We got the shop with the upgrades. That looks real good as well. Got these boys right here being lazy. Lazy cuz. Yeah, cuz. Y'all chilling? Están acá escondidos en el aire. We already put the TV back up. Fixed the couch. Ready for the next upgrade. The door came out real clean. <laughs> yeah, we need to put a doorknob. Next, we're gonna be breaking all this floor. Putting bigger trims. Here's the office. I was thinking I'm gonna put my little cameras TV right here on the corner, just pointing down. And then my new desk is probably gonna be like right here, facing out. Shop is coming along real nice. I cannot wait for more upgrades. The more upgrades that we do, the better it's gonna get. Also guys, y'all excuse this quality. Right now I'm using my phone and stuff because I'm waiting on my new mic to come in. That way I can use the camera. So y'all just bear with me. This will probably be the last video using the phone. We're gonna hop back onto the camera to the good quality. But right now I'm just making it work. Right now I'm gonna pull out the new truck out to the sun. That way we can get a good look at it outside and see this color shine. Very important news. I have fixed the AC on both of these trucks. Both of these trucks are blowing real cold now. This morning I took out the OBS for lunch and man, it is a lot more enjoyable with AC. AC definitely makes your truck a lot better. <laughs> And then this one's a beast. We got the black beast right here. This one's blowing real cold as well. Slowly but surely, we're getting everything fixed on the trucks, getting them 100%. Right now, let's turn on La Cherry. Oh, yeah. That color just pops. I told you guys, both of these trucks are going to look so good together. 
Y'all stay tuned. Catch them at the shows real soon. They are going to be heading to Ayuko Throwdown July 9th. We're going to be out there. I'm going to be taking my bag that says clone. I'm going to be taking this one as well. So we got a month of crunch time to get this one ready. Get the SS clone ready. You guys catch us out there. Ayuko Throwdown July 9th in the Valley, Texas is going to go down. Big shout out to On The Gas for inviting us out there. Make sure you guys come through. Pick up the merch. Come check out the whips gonna be a good time check out those headlights definitely one of my favorite things of these gmc's those strips always look good man i love it <laughs> I love this truck. Check engine light is gone. I knew it wasn't gonna be a big issue. Gotta love this new interior. I must say GM definitely got down on this one. Um, it's very nice. Got all the cameras. We can see our needles now, our front needles. Let's pull it out. Out to the sun. We had to run right back inside because the sun is just wild right now <laughs> but there we have it guys i think the first ever slam 22 sierra as of right now sitting very nice on those needles this is just a temporary setup for now we are going to be getting some 26 28 intros three link suspension in the rear and this thing is just going to be one beast show truck we're going to be doing some more color matching of course we're going to color match these plastics See what else I want to color match. I'm really digging the maroon on black look. It looks very sporty. Once we get the new wheels, we're going to see what route we're going to take it. But for sure, we're going to color match this. Those got to be color matched. But yeah, ahí quedó. Well, my guys, that is going to be it for this video. Quick, sweet, and short one. We do got a lot more videos on the way. A lot more stuff on the way. More upgrades. More upgrades to the shop and everything. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. It's gonna be it for the 22 Sierra for today. Aquí la tenemos. Bien mamalona. Right now my brother's out there working on a vlog. So make sure you guys check out his channel at Static Joel. He's gonna post a new vlog already. Here we have the mamalonas. Y'all stay tuned. The Coyote's gonna get fixed real soon. We're just waiting on that hood. We're gonna go drop it off to get the new windshield. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Let me know what you guys think about the new drop on the truck. Also, don't forget to enter our truck upgrades giveaway. Pick up a Static Concepts decal because there is a few more days left on that giveaway. We're going to be choosing one person to bring out here, bring your truck, and we're going to do upgrades to your truck. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.